So I have already started the preparations for uh, the paint and I began with the fender and so far I have used 400 grit sandpaper just like this one to um, kind of get rid of the um, deeper scratches and uh, defects that were in the paint so far so I'm ready to start sanding this with uh, waterproof sandpaper and I think I'm gonna use 800 grit. Yes. So I'm gonna send it over to see if anything is gonna pop up as a defect that I have to get rid of, or if everything else is is fine, I'm gonna just send it and prep it for paint. And then, of course, I'm gonna use some. Uh, primer to go over the bare spots that I have created here and there from the sanding there was this uh, deep bump over here so I had to kind of straighten a bit the fender and then uh, sand it down because the paint kind of cracked from the the straightening process when I pulled this out this bump out so let's get started So the fender is uh, prepared for washing and priming because you can see the bare spots that I was talking about and uh, also I think it is going to be best if I prime this thing. So now I'm going to wash it and let it dry and uh, get it to prime. But before that I'm going to uh, prepare the bumper as well. There were some scratches over here I had to take care of and uh, on a few spots they were kind of deep the other thing that I have to do is I have to remove this middle part over here to make the, the lids for these holes over here fit because they don't fit at the moment and over here on the edges there is this hook that is getting inside of the fender and there are some uh, edges kind of uh, in the way of this hook so on this side is kind of okay but on the other side of the bumper I'll try to show you from the the cast there is quite a bit of uh, edge that I have to remove uh, because it is preventing this uh, clips to do its job so I'm gonna have to file this down, sand it down um, I'm gonna use this tool to do this thing probably it's gonna be okay and uh, of course on this side I have to cut uh, this opening because it has to look like this this is from the original bumper you can see the difference and I'm gonna try to show you this is the original lid it gets in like this but at the moment you can see that it doesn't close it doesn't fit there is a gap over here I'm sorry I'm kind of uh, rushing this because I want to get to paint as quick as possible and yeah it doesn't close so I'm gonna have to deal with this and I'm gonna go over these spots with 800 grit water sandpaper because this, this scratches from the sandpaper that I used and there are some spots like over here 
there are some contaminations inside of the primer and I have to go over the whole bumper to make sure that everything is okay and repair it all over again. This is going to be the other big piece that I have to prepare and on these small pieces you can see they are bare plastic, I have to prepare them as well and to the two trims that are for this area over here they have to be ready as well so yeah I have a lot of work ahead of me so let's get started
Okay, so the fender and the bumper are almost ready for primer. The only thing that I have to do is to use some silicone remover and clean them for the final time. Just this is the final step that I have to do. And uh, they are gonna be ready because there is some dust. Although I just washed this thing, there is again dust on it. So I'm gonna try to clean it a bit more thorough with the silicone removal and uh, the bump is in the same condition as the fender almost ready but before I start with that I have to prep this for primer and uh, what I'm gonna do is I wash them and now I'm gonna use some silicone remover as well and before I start priming them with um, this type of primer that is for paint I'm gonna use this thing which is another type of primer and this is for bare plastic when the plastic doesn't have any coating it is best to use this primer this will ensure that you will have better coverage and the primer or the paint if you use paint straight away it is gonna bond so much better with the plastic otherwise there is a chance for the paint or the primer to peel off from the plastic so I'm gonna do this right now and this is gonna be able to cure for a moment to dry up and once I start to prime the, the two bigger pieces that I have I'm gonna prime these as well so I'm getting closer and closer to painting these details and I'm rushing as fast as I can but it is kind of enough, um, difficult because there are lots of things that has to be done so let's jump into priming these little pieces Well, it is almost dried up. This was all I had to do. It was that simple. I kind of wish every job that I have to do to be as simple as this one, but yeah. Uh, so this task is completed and I'm gonna wait for this to get a little bit drier. In the meanwhile, I'm gonna jump on to the other stuff. So here it is, this is how this thing looks like now and I'm gonna use some sandpaper once again to kind of smooth it out. It is incredibly smooth but I'm gonna just uh, go over it to make it shiny again. 
to not have this matte finish. This is not something that bothers me, but I don't know why I decided to go over it. Actually, it can be spread on like this because it is so fine and there is nothing wrong with it, but I still want to kind of clean it because it set through the night and there is dust over here and I just want to clean it. Probably if there is anything in the paint to remove it. The bumper I just uh, sprayed over here and there where the defects were. As here, there was over here there was a spot over here I think. And now I'm gonna use 1200 grit sandpaper water resistant once again to go over the bumper once again just to clean it uh, these things have become so cute they turn out to be so cute you can see a few spots here and there this is dust probably I don't know I'm gonna have to remove it I'm getting closer and closer to paint Actually, I want to paint them so badly because it is getting colder, but there are these things that I have to do and they take so much time. So, let's start preparing the fender first. So far I have prepared the, the bumper, the fender and all of the parts, uh, that, uh, the trims and everything are ready. So they have been washed, cleaned and I went through them with silicone remover. So I'm gonna start painting now because the daylight is going away. Hopefully everything is gonna work out well. Let's start.
Well, the first coat is done and probably we're gonna say that this isn't the right way to paint. But in this case, I did this because I don't have enough time to play around and I'm kind of used to doing everything my way and I'm familiar with this way of painting so I'm not afraid to do it this way. You can see the how the paint has covered everything. Now I'm gonna go over everything one more time at least. I don't know if I'm gonna get that on camera but we'll see because it is getting very dark already and I don't have the time. This is the fender. Let me grab the light to show you. Uh, the paint, there are kind of uh, lots of um, contaminations inside of the paint but I don't have the proper equipment and and how to protect the paint I mean I'm gonna turn off the the light because you can see it is kind of uh, attracting bugs over here I don't know how to show you this this is the the last one that I sprayed on uh, this was on paint and I didn't primer this thing it was with the old paint job and it looks like this I am hoping for this thing to cure as fast as possible so I can start spraying the new coat This is after the first coat and I'm rushing. I have, I have to apply the second coat but there are so many bugs that are kind of uh, getting inside of the clear coat because everything is shiny and they are attracted to the shine so I'm gonna start applying the second uh, coat. You can see how many uh, contaminations are 
I'm hoping that once this is cured I'm gonna be able to fix it but we'll see well I am done with the paint and uh, now I'm gonna probably try to polish this once again to clean the paint the clear coat I mean because I showed you there are lots of uh, bugs inside of the paint and stuff so I don't know <laughs> I'm gonna try to kind of uh, clean it a bit and yeah otherwise I didn't had uh, that many problems and uh, you can see over here there is a bug I don't know how to show you this and as I was saying I didn't have all that many problems I was able to paint this kind of it took a lot of time but otherwise it was okay I managed to finish it and um, there is a bug you can see I have tried to this scratch are just on the surface I tried to get it out but it doesn't come off I'm gonna have to polish it you can see how many of them are inside of the paint and yeah it's not my best work but this is all that I could do at the moment for this thing I'm gonna try to polish it and we see the and the result then